Okay, here we have a table for a linear function, which is very similar to a table for a line. Um, the only difference is that instead of having y equals 2x plus 4, they're now introducing what is called function notation, which is h of x equals 2x plus 4. Now, all h of x means is that h depends on x. That's what h of x means, okay? That h depends on x. So for every single x value that you're given, you will find a different h value, okay? And h is a name for the y value. And that's important because if I'm talking about five different lines on one single graph, you need to be able, you can't call them all y. y equals this, y equals that, y equals this, because that won't help you to label and it won't help you to distinguish which one's which. So we have to have names for them. And so typically you'll see things like f of x and g of x and h of x, I've seen k of x, p of x, c of x, r of x, um, S of X, there's a whole bunch of different, I mean, you could use any letter you want to essentially, um, but we have different letters because they are different lines or different functions, okay? So the number, the letter here that's there is not important. It, they all represent Y values. They just have different names. This one's called Harry, that one's called Frank, Gary, um, Chris, Pete, Cindy, Renee, Sarah, right? It doesn't matter what um, what the letters are. It's just to name each individual one so you can tell the difference between one and another. Now, but what does that mean as far as being able to complete this um, table? All it means is that if you wanna find the Y value that's associated with H, this specific function, you just plug in the X values. So h of negative 3 equals 2 times negative 3 plus 4. This means the y value for h at the x value of negative 3 is negative 6 plus 4, which equals negative 2. So remember, h of negative 3 means the y value of the function h at the x value negative 3, okay? So don't think that that is an h times a negative 3 because it is not. It is called h of negative 3, okay? And it's read as h of negative 3, which is important because I have a lot of people will start to try to divide both sides by negative 3, thinking that h is multiplied by negative 3, and it is not. It is a whole new kind of notation that we're going to have to get familiar with real quick because the remainder of the course is going to be using this function notation, okay? So, um especially when you get to the next module. So 2.6, we've already figured this y value out is negative two. Now let's find h of zero. It means plug in zero. So we get zero plus four, which is just four. So now I can fill in that box. Then I'm gonna find h of two. So really this is more nothing more than just a label for the y value. Okay, that's all it is. So let's plug in two now. Two times two plus four is gonna be four plus four, which is equal to eight. So I could fill in this box. Um, H of four is two times four plus four. So I get eight plus four, which happens to be 12. And then finally, H of five, which is two times five plus four, which is 10 plus four or just 14. And that is the end and that's all we needed to do. The big thing here is getting used to 
the switch in notation from y to h of x, f of x, g of x, and so forth.